We just switched off from Sissy. Sweet snuggles. Dogs, bless you. Oh, hey Paul, if you got gypsy sneeze, you got to put it in slow motion. Wait, you do? I think even so. With the dogs? I might have got it, even with the dogs. That's the rule on the sniffs. If anyone sneezes, slow motion, and I think we caught gypsy. Here we go. You ready to rock? Yeah. Let me see what you got. Let me see your outfit. You got your whistle, flashlight, fishing thingy and a pocket knife perfect so we're gonna go in the woods and, and uh, we're gonna go in the woods and make a fort yeah let's go and these are for the things that if I, we see snakes or something yeah that's right let's go i'll follow you hey, it is. did you get it i don't know good job no, I don't. was that right where you're aiming yeah perfect Good. You're getting better at that. My little lefty. Hmm? My little lefty. Yeah, keep going deep, much deeper. Like over there. Yeah, let's go see if the pond's doing okay. Wait, check and see if you see any tadpoles. You can never walk by a creek in the summer without checking for tadpoles. It's important. Tadpoles or minnows? Well, I see minnows in there too. Isn't that crazy how minnows end up here? How? And it was totally dry all winter. Oh yeah, how do they even end up here? Comment below, how do minnows appear in random streams and previously yeah, dry ponds? I think their eggs ride on the feet of birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a bird comes and goes into the water and some lake or pond and gets a drink or eats a fish and they step on eggs, minnow eggs, and then when they fly off, then they come back down to another piece of water and that the eggs drop off. That's totally my theory. I've never read that. What's the right answer, Smith fans? What do you think, Link? You think God just puts them there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or I think like just the stream goes to the river. Yeah. Or a river. Yeah, because the other theory is, and what Lincoln's saying is, this water comes from another pond that's higher up on higher elevation, so maybe. It does? Yeah. Remember the pond over on the neighbor's house? So the water overflows and some minnows could ride the overflow. That's probably what it is. Yeah. You got some stickers on you. Pond is uh, full. Good shot. Is that where you're aiming? Sweet home. This is Boise, Idaho. Came in for a show, this racetrack. Flew in this morning and then fly back out tomorrow morning. Out of Boise, back home to Austin to see the baby. And the kids, the babies, plural. So these are hard days. Getting up early, early flight, fly to West Coast, get up early the next morning and fly back to Texas. These are hard days. And then I'll meet the band again the day after that. The, the day after the next day, something. Back on the west coast. Day three. Mabby is three days old. My mom's driving and we're heading back from our first doctor visit. 
he has lost a pound, which is to be expected because my milk hasn't come in yet. But we're hoping it comes in today. And he is so good. He just sleeps and eats and he's the sweetest little thing. So Granger just left uh, to go on tour. He's gonna be gone just for the night and then he'll be home for a couple days. Kids are at school. So it's just me and the mamas, my mom and Granger's mom, just loving on Maddie till Granger gets home. And the kids, um, they wanted me to wake them up early so that they can hold him and they fight over him and I have to actually like set a timer on my phone so they can pass him back and forth and share him. So I don't even get to hold him that much because the kiddos get to hold him all the time. We're gonna try our first bottle. <laughs> Drinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing it. He, oh, can you hold his own bottle? His <laughs> first little. I let like you do that. Mommy got one yeah. ounce. Do you want to hold him, Linda? His little belly is the size of a grape. Hey, Chris. Yep. Green group time. Oh, the best time. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys? Meet and greet time, Chris. Best time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, got a little present here. It's unique. Your wife made it? Yeah, my wife. Idaho Maverick. That's awesome, man. That's really thoughtful. Thank you, dude. Where is she, by the way? Uh, she's out there right now. Okay, She'll all right. Be up front, What's so her name? Look for her, Lauren. Lauren, if you're yeah. watching the Smiths, Lauren. Thank you, that's awesome. You guys been to watch the Smiths, huh? Oh yeah. Now you're on it. Oh all man. <laughs> How many episodes have you seen? I've been watching. 50. 60. <laughs> I, and I, now, I just forever. Forever. and now you're on it. It's been two years. <laughs> you're amazing. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Now you're on the Smiths. Love you guys. <laughs> thank you. All right, we have there some more go. some more Smith fans. You girls yeah, are girl. so cute. Now you get to be on the Smiths. Yeah, awesome. This is my bro. This is my bro. <laughs> hey, you gonna go on stage? Uh, yeah, for okay. sure. For All right. right. All right, I'll come get you. All right, did I knock somebody in? Oh, yeah, I'll get him. Thank you so much. There's Bull. What's happening? <laughs> I'm gonna use your room. Yes. How is it? It's awesome. I love Hyatt Place. Where's Butch? I don't know. Running late? Pretty burned out. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I know he's lacking the sleep. So. That show. Yeah, I saw it on the. Uh, was crazy. <laughs> These people, Idaho is just. I haven't been able to do anything in a year and a half. I was just telling her, they're just, these people are just so good here. I always say to Idaho, and I'm saying it as the camera's on, I shouldn't say it, but I don't like to tell anyone y'all's secret. It's an amazing state, and I don't want to tell anybody about it. Hey, Idaho's terrible, yeah. guys. It's just potatoes, and it's terrible. Especially you Californians. You, don't, you wouldn't like it. No one's going to like it here. It's just <laughs> ugly. All right, there he is. Man, good morning, sir. All right, we're switching. I'm going, going to bed, y'all are waking up. All right, go to bed. See you in a couple days. <laughs> yep. Yee yee. How's that?
Oh, hi. How are you doing? How's hey. he doing? He's good. He just woke up. Can I have him? Yes, you may. Hi. Hey, buddy. Idaho says hi. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, Texas says hi. Okay, good. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's August in Texas and we are shooting um, photos for our fall launch that will be September 17th. So this is that time of the year where we come out and and pretend that it's cold and the middle of a chilly autumn day. This might be my favorite one. That hoodie? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Pretty awesome. I love it. Put your hands in the kangaroo pocket. It's about to say that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> cold day. Oh. It is cold out here. Okay, we're finishing up the fall 2021 photo shoot. How'd you think it went, Brian? It went great. I'm excited to see these photos. You're about to do some drone. We're gonna do some drone for the Smiths. This is the, the, I don't think the Smiths have seen this drone. Unless they've watched the diesel music video. It's the same kind of drone that was used in that. Yes, so Brian recently bought this drone, it's FPV. What does that stand for? First person view. First person view drone. You put on these goofy goggles and see everything through these. So the difference is that this drone goes really fast, uh, like you may have seen in the diesel music video. 95 miles an hour. So we'll show you some 95 mile an hour drone footage. We may not be able to get to that speed today, but we'll show you what it looks like right here. Helper, so I don't get to hold my baby very often because he gets taken from me. Oh no! What's going on? Yeah. You got the hiccups? No, I think he's hungry. He's been eating all day. Who's eating his hands? Oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Poor buddy. I'm home for one day, then I go back out to, you know where I'm going? I know. Oregon. The guys are all, my guys are all in Bend, Oregon. So that's where I'm gonna go first thing in the morning. I'm gonna leave here about four o'clock in the morning. And then tomorrow I'll be playing a show in Bend, Oregon. But right now I wanna show you a couple things. One, Covert, Chevy and Ford came and picked up my demo because they sold it, the truck, the gray truck and they brought me a new demo. What's this, this one? Is like the, the last one. Oh, it doesn't have that thing. Yeah, it's a little different. This is a trimmer. Oh, so you want It's a Ford, but it's, yeah. this is their trimmer package. So we are gonna do some chores. You love chores. Love chores. We're gonna plant. I don't want anything to fall out. That's oh, a cup. I have some pollinator plants in here. You know what that means, guys? Pollinator plants? What does it mean? It means they're gonna attract bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Oh, I love butterflies. And we're gonna put it over by the windmill. To actually drive the truck, even though it's only like 50 feet. Let's drive the truck. I'll walk. You wanna walk? Okay, let me shut this system. Spider. You killed a spider? Yes. We should write a song about it. Yeah. This one has a key. The last ones are all button pushers. 
That's what my uh, sound guy, Blake, calls me, a button pusher. I don't think I'm a button pusher. You think I'm a button pusher? He says I'm a button, says I always push his buttons. But he's, he's a sound guy. He needs to be pushing the buttons. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the goal is, guys, the goal is parents to get them out of the house and get them working. But the goal is, kids, to build a pollinator garden. So this is this is the trough from the windmill, and I'm gonna fill this with just this nothing. Seems to be like a water for cows. Yeah, exactly right. So we're gonna use it as George is gonna fill this. I already have dirt in the bottom, which I filled a long time ago when I built the other garden, and mulch on top. So I'm gonna fill this with pollinator plants and it's the, all these are gonna get huge and just overflowing. And it's gonna be bees and hummingbirds and then butterflies. butterflies. And then in the winter time, we'll just cut them down and some of them will grow through the winter and the other ones will grow back up next spring. So they'll be even bigger and better next spring. Daddy? What? So um, when you say they'll, um... Um, they'll get big. Is it going to get big like that one? A little bit bigger than that. Some of them will get like this tall. What we're going to do is, the goal is, like this shovel, see this mulch in here? First we're going to have you guys get in here. We're going to pick the perfect locations for every plant where they're evenly spaced. And then, are you paying attention Lincoln? Yeah. Okay, good. Yes sir? Yes sir. Then we're going to move this mulch around and like this, leave a little give it a little circle and then when the circle's ready we'll dig and then we'll pop the plants in and then we'll put the mulch back and then we'll water and it's gonna be so good right how was school today guys how was school today good it was good good okay then let's get going All right, got it all finished. Pollinator garden ready. These are gonna grow big and full and it'll be such a cool view from the porch. And it was a nice task for the kids. So let me get some water on these and then go check on the baby. So check these out. Oh, nice. Well, you didn't, I was talking about what's in the bags, not. Oh, I just like the bags. Yeah. I was thinking, oh, those are so, so awesome. So yeah, this is what I wore. This is what I was wearing on stage uh, on this episode actually in uh, Boise, yeah. But these are legit. They're amazing. I mean, it's, London, have you seen these? I did, yeah, I've been wearing it. I just got some more, so so there's a blue one too, and I've got this because I'm gonna take it with me tomorrow to, where are we going? Where are you going? Oregon, tomorrow, but look, here's the blue one. They look so good. Yeah, I'm so proud of these, let me see. And it has like, like all like the tag and everything is Yee branded, and and the, let's see the bottom, let's see, yeah, right there is Brandon. And they fit really well too. Yeah, we worked really hard. Parker worked really hard on these. I'm just happy. So this is September 17th, the fall launch, but I have something else to show you. You show me? Yeah. What is it? Oh, let me see this. Good buddy. Got a little onesie. It's his first Yee Yee gear. It's your first gear. <laughs> Do you love it? Do you love it? You just hungry. He just woke up. He's milk drunk again. That looks huge. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. He's so tiny. Yeah, that's not gonna fit you so for tiny. a couple of weeks. I um, I was thinking Mavi could close out this episode because okay, ready? Because he's the new star of the Smiths now, and he's the newest newest cast member. Okay. So go ahead, go, go ahead, ahead, buddy. So we hope you like this video. Okay. Please like, subscribe. <laughs> He's doing so good. Give me some milk. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants milk. He's trying to grab through the shirt. No. All right, we're gonna feed him. Love you guys. I'm going early in the morning to, where did I say I was going? Oregon. Oregon. 
Yes. Two shows in Oregon. That's one Thursday night, Friday night. Be back here Saturday. Love on these babies. Yes. Say bye. Bye. Bye, buddy. Mm -hmm.